हेलो ऑल माय सेल्फ सावन वानी सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर वेरियस इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस टुडे इज लेक्चर इज अबाउट द प्रेशर मेजरमेंट इन एनी पावर प्लांट इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सिस्टम अप टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन इन पावर प्लांट इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन हाउ द फ्लो रेट्स ऑफ वाटर एंड स्टीम आर एनालाइज हाउ द मेजरमेंट्स आर डन in the previous lectures for uh, power engineering we have seen the power plant design then also uh, the concepts related to the power plant design so one by one we are taking the various types of uh, instrumentation included in power plant so the second part of the instrumentation is related with the pressure measurements so uh, the first slide uh, water and steam pressure measurements pressure measurements are required at various points in water and steam lines so uh, we know that in any particular boiler system in a steam power plant or a thermal power plant the water and the steam flow pipes are introduced uh, in order to transfer the water and steam from one point to another so uh, during its flow the important is the flow pressure and temperature measurement so in this uh, we are going to see the pressure measurements so basically the pressure measurements are required at various points in water and steam lines for local indications bored on tube pressure gauges are normally used direct piping is used as pressure lines to connect the gauge from main line for cooling water and water with less temperature so uh, in this particular point the uh, uh, installation of the bored on tube pressure gauge is mentioned here that if the uh, if from the pipe we are having a uh, cooling water flow or the water with less temperature then naturally they are directly installed on that particular pipeline no any extra accessories required for the installation of pressure gauge for hot water and steam mains the bored on gauges are to be connected with pressure gauge bends to avoid direct steam or hot water contact with bored on tube so you will see that uh, while uh, the uh, steam uh, which is at higher temperature or the water which is at higher temperature at that point the bored on tube pressure gauges are only used but they are just connected with the pressure gauge bends so that the direct contact of the Uh, uh, of the steam or the hot water is avoided going to the uh, next slide we are having one diagram uh, which will give us the exact uh, uh, image of the uh, measurement of uh, water and steam pressures so uh, you will see here that uh, through a pipeline a steam or a hot water is flowing and the bored on tube pressure gauge is at this much height so basically the pressure gauge bend is employed at the center end then the root wall that is uh, we have seen the working of this root wall and the isolation wall in the previous lectures so at the point where the pressure is to be measured this is connected to the bored on tube pressure gauge with the help of this pressure gauge bend so we'll go for the theory of this for uh, transmitting type pressure measurements electronic transmitters with standard 4 to 20 milliamperes are used the sensing elements used may vary from strain gauge capacitive type or inductive type etc very high pressures are measured by piston type pressure gauges operating pressures are specified in different standards so basically uh, the theory regarding this uh, steam and water pressure measurement is included here and now we will go to next slide that <coughs> steam bus pressure measurement so uh, the diagram and the explanation uh, we are having here that basically first we will explain what is a steam bus pressure measurement it is very important to measure the steam pressure precisely in the common steam bus of a thermal power plant where number of boilers are in operation so uh, we can take one example that uh, suppose there is a power plant system design and in that in that particular power plant there are more than one boilers in operation as the requirement of steam power plant is uh, more so uh, one boiler cannot uh, fulfill the requirement of the steam so therefore n number of boilers are employed that is more than one uh, boilers are employed so then uh, what will happen is there is a requirement of a common steam bus arrangement so what this uh, steam bus uh, uh, does we will see here the steam generated by these boilers is connected to a common bus before being distributed to 
turbo alternator so in this uh, turbo alternators is nothing but the turbine on which the steam is going to be propelled and therefore the rotation of the turbine will take place so therefore see here again the steam generated by these boilers is connected to a common bus before being distributed to turbo alternators this measurement is done with zero suppression and expansion of the scale at operating pressure so that this signal is given to master fuel controller for boiler load sharing purposes now basically this diagram also uh, in next slide we have employed this diagram so for the measurement of the steam bus pressure system here you can see the uh, example is given that is the diagram that the motor is there at the upper end and the motor is suppressed at uh, vertically so the shaft is uh, vertical and this uh, this is the weight which is added for suppression or zero point so what does this weight will do is this weight will balance this beam in order to have any deflection that is any horizontal deflection so basically if this beam is balanced we can easily measure the pressure of the particular uh, steam which is flowing uh, on the downward side so here you can see the piston so this piston will do the work of the pressing in downward direction or upward direction like the work of a plunger therefore uh, this pressure cell which is employed here this is going to measure the exact pressure of the uh, steam which is flowing through the system and plus this gearing arrangement you can see here so this gearing arrangement is used for the uh, just changing the speed after the motor according to the requirement we can change the speed so going to the next slide again the same point is employed here the figure shows a piston pressure gauge which is highly accurate and suitable for bus pressure measurement the steam acts upon a piston located in an oil filled pressure cell so again uh, here we are going to explain again the common uh, bus system uh, arrangement Uh, see that if there are uh, four boilers so there will be four pipelines of the steam from the boiler and all these pipelines are connected to a single system and therefore all the steam will be collected in a simple in a single uh, system which is known as a bus arrangement to reduce uh, friction to a minimum a small electric motor rotates the piston so we have seen that this uh, motor is going to drive the particular piston the counter force is supplied by two helical springs because uh, we know that the uh, system now is vertical so the uh, the work balance uh, the uh, load balance uh, is required so therefore two helical springs are employed here to suppress the zero point the piston is preloaded by weights then the reading is displayed locally on a large size dial and transmitted through several types of transmitters the stroke of the piston is transmitted to the local pointer and the various transmitters by means of rack and pinion to suit a linear pressure characteristic so you can see here that the, the when the piston is going to rotate at the same time it is going to rotate the rack and pinion arrangement and therefore the this pointer is uh, connected to this rack and pinion arrangement and therefore it is going to give us the reading so uh, see the range may be plus or minus by 10% of the operating pressure so an example we have taken here that if operating pressure is 100 kg per centimeter square then the range of this meter should be around 90 to 110 kg per centimeter square going to next slide water temperatures the temperatures of different waters in the boiler system are necessarily to be measured now see uh, in last slides we have mentioned the working of the steam flow measurement but when the water uh, the water in the steam power plant is used in many points uh, we have also see uh, one uh, you have also seen one theory re related to the types of water in the boiler uh, feed power plant um, basically raw water condensed water blow down water then make up water etc these were the various water so uh, for the temperature measurement of the water because this is the uh, substance which will carry away the heat from the boiler so therefore the different points are cooling uh, water in and out of the condenser then raw water then make up water condensate water feed water before and after economizer feed water before and after de aerator and feed water inlet to boiler drum so the normal range of the water temperatures is 0 to 100 degree celsius and hence 
the resistance temperature detectors that is rtds are used liquid in glass thermometers are used for local indicators for steam temperatures now if you have to measure the temperature of steam the temperatures of uh, steam at drum steam temperature then steam temperatures before and after uh, superheaters boiler outlet steam temperatures common bus temperature turbine inlet temperature are to be measured the range at different points may vary from around 200 degree celsius to about 600 degree celsius so this is the uh, range up to which the steam temperatures are to be measured so the devices which are used are though rtds can be used for low temperature ranges iron constant and thermocouples are universally used for this range for steam temperatures mostly we will see that the thermocouples are used for the measurement of temperature and as we have seen the temperature of water and steam varies to a maximum of around 600 degree celsius so the pressure in those pipes may vary about 2.5 kg per centimeter square to about 100 kg per centimeter square in feed water line for superheated steam temperature and pressure are about 550 degree celsius and 60 kg per centimeter square so basically see that the uh, temperature and pressure for superheated st uh, steam is more as compared to the normal uh, steam and water temperatures so uh, protection is required for the temperature sensors to operate with such high values so whenever we are going to employ the temp the temperature measurement devices the protection is necessary suitable protection tubes and fixing methods are to be adopted screwing the sensor on the pipeline with protection tubes for low pressure lines and direct welding for high pressure lines are recommended so this is the major point of the uh, water and steam pressure uh, temperature measurement that uh, if you have to measure the pressure of the uh, pressure and temperature of the low pressure lines where the temperature is lower we can directly screw up that particular sensor to that particular pipeline so that the temperature will be measured but if uh, a high temperature uh, or pressure lines are there then it will require the direct welding procedure so therefore there should be a permanent weld uh, for in order to measure the temperature and pressure of that particular lines this is the one diagram uh, which is showing us the various types of water and steam pressure uh, temperature measurement types of rtds so you can see here that this this is the first that is immersion type resistance temperature detector use can be used up to 550 degree celsius so this is a one line which is indicating over one device of the uh, rtd which is going to give us the temperature measurement of around 550 degree celsius then these are uh, the straight stem straight stem uh, thermocouples with metallic and ceramic nature that is the materials is different so they will give us the temperature range of around 1250 degree celsius to 1600 degree celsius then uh, resistance thermometer with uh, threaded bushing and it is it will have up to uh, 20 kg per centimeter square the type of pressure given then high pressure temperature resistance thermometers and thermocouples with well so they, this type can give us the value of around 90 kg per centimeter square and the second type uh, can give us up to the pressure of 300 kg per centimeter square then a resistance thermometer for bearing temperature control this is the uh, resistance thermometer for the bearing temperature control then this is for the test bench use uh, the, the resistance temperature thermometer again and this is the angular stem thermocouple where the the we don't have any uh, hor uh, on horizontal space if the pipings are installed very close to the walls so this type of angular stem thermocouples uh, can be used for the measurement of temperature so basically in this lecture uh, all these water and steam pressure measurements temperature measurements are introduced in order to uh, specify the various types of uh, uh, temperature and pressure measuring instruments which instrument is to be used for which procedure or which uh, uh, operation that is uh, specified in this lecture thank you